basket guys still shaking. Here's Winston. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Passes it to Wagner. Hard for Wagner to avoid the contact. His shooting ability is going to have defenders reacting to David, and we'll be back after halftime as the third And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game is still to play. Boss has been sensational. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up for the second half. Setting the floor for the Hornets. Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Boss is out there with ball. And it's Bridges in at the three. The small forward. Middleton on the wing. He's covered by Washington. And now Ball pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Now I tell you what, they won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense like that. Greg, who would you choose as the best defenders of the NBA pick and roll? Oof. That is a, a tough one. This will surprise some people. Uh, Nikola Jokic is one of the better big men defending the pick and roll in part because of his instincts. You know, he doesn't impress me in terms of his physical attributes, but his mind, the ability to anticipate, having a sense of how perimeter players play the game, he's a guy that's terrific. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an oldie but goodie in Andre Iguodala. He's still terrific. And I pick bigger guys because you've got to be able to switch that and guard smaller players. And, you know, at the center and, and the swing position, those are two guys that still are very reliable. The Bastard Boss. Inside. And here is Washington. Zeller trying to free himself up. It's good. And the Washington lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Washington. Great play calling, great execution. Leads to four for four to start this half. Pass to Wagner. Hachimura kicks to Beal. Pass to Wagner. Bridges against Middleton. That one doesn't drop. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. For the time, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, way to play and attack ball. Has have shot four of seven as a team from the line tonight. Several misses early. is no good on that one. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. One second separating the shot clock in game. And that one's good. Hachimura. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. And Zeller kicks to Rozier. Boss. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, easy call. For Charlotte, they had missed four of their eight free throws up to this point. Things not really going their way at the line yet. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for. Around 80% on the season. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. It's the Wizards leading by three. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Avdia out there with Hachimura. Then there's Mo Wagner. Then it's Troy Brown. And it's Winston in at the point guard position. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. And that one, good. That, to me, is exactly the kind of play you want from Mo Wagner. Aggressively chasing the rebound and getting a second chance opportunity. That one's good, and the Washington lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Boss. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, 